So I know the trailer's been out for a couple hours now. Um, I was at work when it premiered. Like, the moment I got to work, I was like, they're going to drop this trailer the moment I get here. Sure enough, they did. And I've watched it about three times. <clears throat> so we're going to be talking about the trailer, the second trailer for Deadpool and Wolverine. Honestly, I'm going to say this right now. They don't need another one. They don't need a third trailer because I feel like at that point they're just going to spoil everything. But I guarantee you they're probably going to drop another trailer like sometime late, like late May or June. And it's just going to have more and more of the plot and expose like way more than we needed. So, yeah, I, I am just kind of making a, a, a um, plea that <clears throat> we don't we don't need that. We don't need um, a second. Tra we don't need a third trailer. You can do TV spots, Disney, but we don't need another. We don't need another trailer. I won't do that. I will not besmirch Tina Turner's good name for that. <laughs> anyway. Um, but yeah, like I said, this is b about the only trailer that really, <clears throat> that really needs to be a thing. So, um, let's talk about it. So, first off, whereas the first trailer showed off all of Deadpool and just said, hey, we're ba Deadpool's back and he's gonna be in the MCU, here, it's like, you guys wanted to see Wolverine, right? Well, here's Wolverine, and Hugh Jackman has not lost it. What's interesting, though, is that they basically said that this is not the Wolverine that we followed from the other X-Men movies. This is another Wolverine from a different timeline. And I'm going to say it like I think this is meant to be like Old Man Logan uh, Wolverine, where in here he, ca he basically caused the death of all of his X-Men. And it's interesting because like we see like a, a lot of like dusted and desolated areas. I'm like, could this, like, this whole thing with the 20th Century Fox logo and all that, um, could this be, like, the old man, Lo like, an actual loose adaptation of old man Logan? Um, I could be wrong. I could be 100% totally wrong on that, but it really does feel like we're trying, they're trying to do, like, it really does give me an old man Logan vibe with this Wolverine dying, you know, causing the death of everyone he loved, um, as well as the, uh, it, like, this Wolverine is very sullen, doesn't want to use the claws anymore, well, doesn't look like he wants to use the claws anymore. So it could be that. I also think rather than having, if that is the case, I think it's going to be revealed that uh, Cassandra Nova is the, rather than Mysterio, is the reason why the X-Men are dead. Like why Wolverine led to the death of the, <clears throat> of the X-Men, excuse me. Because yeah, it could be that he, she, he took, she took over his mind, made him kill all the X-Men when he was thinking he was seeing all the enemies. Could be that. Who knows? I'm just, uh, I'm just kind of thinking out loud. That's really what it is. I'm just like, that's just kind of uh, a theory. Um, no, I'm not gonna do that. Anyway, so also we find out more about Deadpool's. Uh, we find more about Wade's. Um, why he's doing this, and it's revealed that yeah, it looks like the TVA is basically like twisting. It looks by the looks of it, it looks like the TVA is uh, twisting his arm into making them work for him uh, work for them uh, um saying that hey if you don't do this we'll we'll reset the timeline and destroy everything you have so you're going to do whatever this mission is for us so that's what i think is going on that's what i like about this is that it, it, this trailer and the previous one have more or less like bit, this is why i was so against i'm so against having a third trailer is because like it gives you enough to, like, put things to, like, some things together, but not everything, and it doesn't fucking spell out everything and, and shows you how everything is gonna play out. Like, that's, it, like, it's so good to have a superhero trailer, let me be, it, and I'm being specific for a reason, is that it's so good to have a, a superhero trailer that doesn't fucking spell out everything. I like that. Like, it's kinda cool, and that's why I'm, I, I was kinda harping on, you know, not having a trailer in the first, um, in the first, it, like, uh, having a third trailer that would probably expose everything, because, like, yeah, I, I, I want to go into this movie and be like, yeah, how are the X-Men going to be part of the MCU now? Because that's what this endgame is, basically. Um, and keep in mind, this is the only MCU movie of the year, so they really have to hit home on it. And it does feel like they're hitting home on it, and also... <clears throat> it's so nice. It's it's kind of cool to have a change of pace for a Deadpool movie for a uh, for a Marvel movie to just be straight up R-rated 
But I guarantee you, and my friend Jason kind of once talked about this, is that you guys remember when they did Once Upon a Deadpool? Uh, that re that's PG-13 re-edit of Deadpool 2? And how... I guarantee you, if that did... If that made enough money, if that if that movie, if that recut of PG thirteen recut of Deadpool two did well in the in the bot in the theaters, we would have had this movie would have been PG thirteen because I because Jason said it best. His working theory was that was that that was Disney testing the waters if they could get away with a de PG thirteen Deadpool, <clears throat> and it really does feel like that. It really does feel like that. Uh, like the more you, the more you think about it, it's like, yeah, it was them trying to get away with a PG thirteen Deadpool movie. What the fuck? <laughs> so thankfully, that crashed and burned, and we got the movie here. And what I also find fascinating is that the director said this shouldn't be counted as De Deadpool and Wolverine should not be counted as Deadpool three. Hmm. So we, I guess, we'll call this Deadpool two point five. So yeah, it, we now have a potential for Deadpool three, um, which is fun, which is good. I would like to uh, like because it kind of I don't know about you guys, but personally, it just kind of bothered me that we had Deadpool one, two, and I was like, just say three, just call it Deadpool three, and because now it's just gonna bother me. I hate when like you you have like a certain theme with your sequel numbers and then it just completely changes, like. Um, like what is it like one mo like uh, Beverly Hills Cop where it's like one two three four and then the other one's just called um, Axel Foley. And I'm like mm, just call it Beverly Hills Cop Five. That's just me though. That's just that's just a me thing. But yeah, also it looks it's kind of cool to see uh, more of Cassandra Nova. Um, I'm fascinated to see where her uh, her place in this whole movie stands. I will. I, I still say that like she's the reason why the X Men in in, Lo, in this Logan's universe are dead. She did the uh, she she basically was our stand in rather than have it be Mysterio. It was Cassandra, so that could be that. Um, I'm just I'm just happy that uh, that this movie just looks fun. It it's got all the jokes and it also doesn't feel like like I also like it. Maybe it's just the trailers how they're edited and I'm sure we'll get more. But there being these, uh, this movie looks like it's going to be very restrained on the Disney tray, on the um, making fun of Disney jokes. I'm sure we'll get a lot of them, but it hasn't. But the trailer so far have so cased that, yeah, they're not going to be every single one on an, as an MCU joke or something like of that degree. So, yeah. All in all, I'm very excited. And in the words of Wade Wilson and Logan, let's fucking go. I'm sure that's going to be the. Uh, that's going to be just a, the tagline for everybody for a while. I'm sure I'm going to jump on and see like a few uh, choke, like what is it? Uh, reaction videos and everyone's going to be like, let's fucking go! Like, ever, like every time we see a great trailer and just think to ourselves, let's fucking go! So, that's just, they're going to make that like the, like the battle cry for this. I, I like that. Anyway, so you guys tell me what you, what did you guys think of uh, Deadpool and Wolverine? Uh, I almost said Deadpool and Wolverine too. Oh my god! Uh, what did you guys think of the Deadpool and Wolverine trailer? Are you guys excited? Or are you guys not? Um, yeah, just comment below. Let me know, and let's fucking go. Other than that, I hope you all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time, Multiverse.